Avail provides those managing content some really great tools and features to manage container files. Now we understand that every firm approaches managing content a little bit differently, especially in container files. So some firms like to use system families. Some firms allow their users to dig into old RVTs and project files to pull out data. We don't want to change necessarily any of that, but we want to provide you some tools to maybe manage that a little easier, but maybe even tools to make you think about content a little bit differently and how to manage it. So I'm going to walk you through some examples here on this video. And I'm going to start with some project files here. So I'm going to my Revit projects, a doc avail over there. <clears throat> I'm going to open up this project file here. It's going to load in the avail browser for Revit. And you'll see that we tab out all the families, views, sheets, schedules, groups, and parameters. And let's say um, I'm managing this project file and knowing that a user can come in here and search for doors and pull out this door and use it in their current project. I might not want them to do that because that door is no longer approved. Well, if I only want my users to come into this project file and use, let's say, casework. So I've got casework here. Let's say all I want them to access is this casework. So I'm going to multi-select that casework. You click on this, you right click and you hit tag as and select display this. Well, when you do that, the next time one of your users comes to this project, so I'm going to click off of that. Then I'm going to click back onto it. And the next time somebody comes and opens up this project, all they're going to see is that casework there. So that's a way for you to hide elements in old projects, RVT files that you don't necessarily want them to find. So you can hide all that clutter. You can hide unapproved content. It's a really great feature for you to, for you to use and manage those, those RVTs. Now, I'm also going to show you system families. So I'm going to find a system family here. We've got a library of system families. I'm going to let that load. Now, there's always going to be data within these system families that you can't necessarily purge. So let's say I only want to show walls from this system family. Well, again, what you do is you multi-select all the walls you want to display. Right-click, tag as display this. And I'm going to click out of that and back in. And again, what you're going to notice is all that clutter is hidden. And I now, as an end user, just see these walls. Now, one other tool I want to show you is auto select. So if you're constantly coming in one of these RVTs or system families and wanting the same piece of content, if you right click, and just put and hit tag as and select auto select. Then each time you open up that system family, you'll notice that that wall is now auto selected every time. So those are a couple of really great tools. Now, if you want to get rid of those tags and you want to undo what you've just done, come over here into avail, go to the tags and filters editor, and then you're going to find to display this, these tags, and you can multi-select those. Right click, hit delete. And it's gonna delete those. It'll take a minute here.
And once those are deleted, you can also delete these auto selects here if you wanted to. Okay. And then you'll be right back to normal. And if I, again, just to prove the point, I'm going to go back into the system family and I click on it. It's going to load it here. And again, you have all of those elements that you had previously hidden. So just to summarize, we have some really great tools that allow you to manage those types of files. And again, what we're ultimately trying to do is give you the flexibility to manage these however you want, find new ways to manage content. But at the end of the day, we're really trying to create an environment where your end users can find what they need really quickly and easily so they can get projects done more efficiently. Thanks for watching.